Yeah. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm Dara. <laughs> okay. Hi, everybody. It's Dara and Gage, and we're having so much silly fun because uh, we are working on our, my, our very first tonic ebook. And it's going to have all kinds of recipes for sleepy time and energizing, and it's going to be so great. And we've been working on it a while, and I just want to make sure that every recipe is just beautiful. So we're testing those, and we're hungry. And I could very easily go out to Cafe Gratitude and get something to eat, or grab a juice, or a snack on fruit, but we have, I cannot waste food. I mean, I have this most beautiful uh, squash and zucchini that I got at the farmer's market. I have purple cabbage. This will be beautiful to feed Gage and I. And it's just a little bit of time with my handy dandy, oh so helpful, one of the most helpful things I've ever had, Borner V Slicer. If any of you are interested in anything I use, there is a full list on my website, okay, below. So you can do go find what I use. But this is one of my favorites because it's the fastest way to treat something like a zucchini, a carrot, a beet. Um, Gage, would you fix it so that's a little bit lower? If you get it, this is Gage, everybody. He works with me. And say hi. Hello. <laughs> so if it's, there's two settings. If it's high, you're going to get the finest slicing. Hot. You press the black thing in and push it down, yeah? Yeah, but this and, one might be a different blade. Well, I think that's the blade I normally use, isn't it? And this one's a lot, you want thicker slices? No. I just didn't want it as high up because then it's too thin. So let me see. We'll just yeah, test it, that's right? The, so thank you. So basically, um, all you need to feed two people is like two zucchini. This is more than enough. It's hydrating. It's delicious. And then you go about deciding, well, how do I want to season it? If you're in a very big hurry, a little bit of olive oil and salt will do it. A little, and if you're not as big of a hurry, a little bit of olive oil, salt, and some lemon juice or orange juice. And then if you want to go a step further, you could be like, wow, I have some organic sprouted almond butter. A little touch of that. If you do that, then you want a little bit of honey or maple syrup or coconut nectar. And I happen to have habanero honey. So it's going to be a little spicy, a little nutty, a little orangey, a little salty. And we'll have some chopped onions. We have some cilantro. Yes. So that's going to give it like the nutty Thai thing, right? Yep. Do you want to come in? Do you want to pick the tops off the tomatoes? Yeah. That would be good. You want a little, you could do it, do it in camera because he'll be like, it'll be half on. What I also have, which is interesting, last night I wanted, I made the zucchini again. I said, Gage, are people going to get tired of this? There is a couple, there's a number of ways that you can treat the zucchini. You can make noodles, you can make discs, you could chop it, you can julienne it, which is what we're about to do, spiralize it for noodles, and, or you can make discs and put some kind of like raw, uh, almond ricotta or cashew cheese in the middle and make raviolis. We're not taking time away from the tonics to make something like cheese. So really the fastest thing to do is to julienne. So out of practical purposes, that's what we're doing. Um, and last night I did the same thing. It was late, I was hungry, a friend and I, Tristan, hi Tristan, we were hungry and so I made the julienne pasta and I thought, you know, it would be really nice to have a Parmesan. So I took Brazil nuts and nutritional yeast and a little bit of salt and I pulsed them in this, which I don't know if you can see. <laughs> and so this, it's it's my mini, maybe $29, Cuisinart, thank you so much. It is a mini prep plus and it is one of the handiest it's been used and abused it's a wonderful little machine that will pulse things make dressings pulse nuts even does a pretty good job with hemp seed and water blending down the hemp seeds mm -hmm. so it's really nice if you are the only person eating raw food in your house and you need to make small amounts um, i highly recommend it or even two people so what should i do first should i do the should you do the dressing or chop? Uh, do the dressing, I can chop first. Okay, that sounds like a plan. And you're gonna have the vegetables and I'll do the dressing. So what I do a lot of times, some of you may have seen me do the fastest salad in the West, or another name is the bottom of the bowl dressing. So it basically means, you, you like that one? Yeah. A lot of people like that one, why? Because it's... 
easy. It's easy. You have a bowl, okay, and at the bottom you put some almond butter, you put some, you squeeze the citrus, you put a little bit of the honey or the maple syrup, the salt, you whisk it at the bottom. You can even chop the um, habanero. You put it at the bottom of the bowl, in go your veggies, stir it up, and you have, um, are we going to taste the tonic? Uh, yeah, it's not quite heat. Okay. Yeah, it has some... So so then you, I wonder if you're in. So basically, here's your cutting board, and I'm going to take the bowl. So now this bowl is a nice shallow bowl. Oh, so you mix in your vegetables, lettuce, any vegetables you've chopped or julienned or spiraled or anything, get mixed in the bowl. You can eat it right out of the bowl and watch a movie, or you can serve it, but you didn't really make too big of a mess, and that's kind of nice. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So what I asked for this, this bowl, I asked for this bowl and it appeared. This bowl is a great shallow bowl when you're using the Borner V slicer. When you are slicing, you don't, want to, it, you don't want a small opening bowl so it's awkward. You want to have a nice shallow bowl to give yourself a range of movement. But when I'm making a bottom of the bowl dressing, then I want a bowl that's way bigger than the amount of vegetables that I'm putting in so I have enough space a little space at the bottom to mix the ingredients, but you want enough space. There's nothing worse than trying to mix a salad when the salad bowl is full and there's no room to really toss. So what I do is I use a very large bowl, one that is, seems way too large for my purposes, but it's not. This one's for you. Here's your handy dandy. I never use the Borner V Slicer without a cut protection glove. That's on my site too. So I'm going to do the, the little dressing, yes? Yeah. Okay. So I got my tablespoon. I've got my nut butter from Fat Uncle Farms. I also really am a huge fan of gem nut butters. We can use that one. Um, am I in your way? Okay. So in goes the almond butter. I feel like I'm yelling. Am I yelling? No. I don't think so. I feel like the microphone is far. I think we're filming. Okay, so I got the almond butter. I'm only using a tablespoon. It's not a big deal. Some of you asked, that's beautiful. What I want to tell people that's really important is that when you're doing this, the more pressure you put on it, the thicker it will be. And you use the same pressure each time then you, what you don't want to do is turn the zucchini because you will cross hatch the bottom and end up with a mess. You just want to keep going in the same direction. Yes? So some people don't want to use honey. I completely understand. So use, I don't know why this, um, use um, maple syrup, use whatever you want to sweeten it. It's up to you. No. <laughs> okay, so we have habanero honey. I'm going to use a tablespoon of that. We have, so I don't need the habanero, but those of you at home need your habanero. Pacifica is the brand, Honey Pacifica. I feel like it's loud, that's the problem. You know when you're doing it, when I'm doing it, it doesn't seem loud, but if you're someone else yeah. is doing it, it's like... <laughs> That's a beautiful orange. I need the, um, mm -hmm. it's a bigger orange than. Do you want the whole thing or? Oh yeah, the whole thing, because you're hungry, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, the whole thing, and we can give Herbie some. I always, whenever I make food, Herbie gets to try, and that's fun. Um, okay, yeah, this is gonna work. So we have the orange juice. Now we're not using nama shoyu, and nama shoyu is an unpasteurized soy sauce. Gage doesn't use soy, and I don't use soy. Uh, Gage, I'm allergic to it. You too? Yeah. And a lot of times it really can mess with your hormones. So even if it's a non-genetically modified, you have to be really, you know, some people are sensitive to soy, and I just stay away from it. Um, so there's, if you want that kind of umame, the soy flavor, uh, you can use coconut aminos made by a company called Coconut Secrets. I do not have any, so I'm just gonna use salt. And that will suffice. And not just any salt, we're going to use pink Himalayan salt. Because we don't want the bleach, we don't want the anti-caking agents. 
We want straight, pure minerals that help our body regulate water and help our adrenals when you use the right salt. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we have our orange. And everything just smells. Smell that? Mm-hmm. Smells good. Mm -hmm. Smells good. We have our little onions. So that can go in, that can go mixed with the salad, that can go in the um, dressing, whatever you prefer. And I'm going to do my salt, maybe just a little bit, like a half a teaspoon. You can always salt more mm. if you like. Um, what do we got? What do you need? Try this one inside well. Uh, what do you think? Yeah. Right? I figure usually like if you're hungry, a, a zucchini, a large zucchini person, if you're not, and it's your main meal, if you're not hungry, then, you know, less, but never, food never goes to waste here, mm -hmm. ever. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I always say just use it and then we're going to go to the market. Yeah? Yep. And get more. What do you need? Is uh, a knife? Top of it up. Here. Be teamwork. So what's nice to add on this is if I had some candied almonds, which we do not have, but a way to make candied almonds, you know how, mm -hmm. we've done that, we haven't done that in a while. I want to take, we have a huge bag of almonds, if we soak the almonds for two to four hours, then we rinse and drain them, then we season them with a sweetener like maple syrup or coconut sugar. A little bit of garlic, a little bit of salt, a little bit of cayenne, whatever we candy, spicy candy them. Mm -hmm. Then dehydrate them and keep them in the refrigerator. They're a wonderful addition to dishes like this. So the cilantro is going in, and uh, I'm going to do the onion. A little bit of onion, antibacterial, antifungal. The zucchini is hydrating. It has a lot of vitamins and minerals and folate. Uh, the cilantro helps our body get rid of heavy metals. So ladies, please stop using uh, lipstick with lead in it. Anything we put on our skin goes into our bodies. So we want to be careful with um, antiperspirant that has aluminum in it. Um, we don't want to have these things in our bodies. So cilantro helps pull them out. The almond butter has protein. For everybody who's so worried, where do you get your protein from? I think that's like the biggest myth. People, everybody's like, you're not going to have enough protein. We always learned, eat this for protein, eat protein, and it's kind of a myth. Uh, you, we need protein, but we get plenty of protein eating this way. Mm -hmm. um, what else do you want chopped up? That's beautiful. You can do some of the purple cabbage, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give you the cutting board because I don't need it anymore. You want that by hand? What? You want that one chopped by hand? I think so. Can you do it on that? Mm, it's better to chop it. I think by hand. Do you want to clean this up first? You want me to clean it? Thank you. Really? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, do you think we're still filming? I th think we are. You do? Yes. That's okay. So you take this. I always like a clean, when you go ahead and, and chop something new, clean your board, wipe it off, start fresh, give yourself good kitchen feng shui. Um, when you're creating the energy and your surroundings, I have candles, I have usually have flowers, the energy of the room that you're preparing goes into the food. The energy of you goes into the food. Um, raw food is so much water. And if you look at Dr. Emoto's study on water and the word love on a bottle of water versus uh, the word hate, it changes the molecular structure. So the mood of the people making the food makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Right? If you've ever eaten food from a chef who's been angry, it could sometimes be really awful. Right? Yeah. Like you've seen food come out bad because you've worked in it. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, all, I mean, uh, kitchens are brutal. Yeah. Any kind of. Any kind of kitchen? Any kind of kitchen is brutal. Ah. Is that partly why, like I always say, it feels like when I eat anywhere else, it really does feel like a compromise from when I eat at home. That's why it can. Um, there's a lot of yelling going on, there's a lot of stress, Stress, definitely. And that goes into the food. So even if they are using the best quality ingredients, which they probably aren't, and even if, you know, 
It's not the same as making it home with love. No. No, we don't want any stress around our food. I won't make food if I'm not in a good mood, right? Dude. You've seen me, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm not touching that. Everyone start crying. <laughs> it's like that movie, like Water for Chocolate, where the emotions that she puts in while she's preparing the food, that's what I feel like sometimes. So I want this a little thicker. I'm going to go a little more almond butter. Um, I think that's pretty. I mean, I would chop it up a little bit, like just mm -hmm. take the knife and because cabbage is pretty, uh, the thicker and stronger something is in mouthfeel, the smaller you want to chop it up. It just makes it more palatable. Mmm. Want to try it? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good call. That's good. Yeah? It's mm -hmm. live. It's like... Mm -hmm. Cha-cha-cha, right? Mm-hmm. And cilantro makes it pop, too. So now, and just a right amount of onion, and what's going to be nice is that this will suffice for us for our nutty kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So all you do is we're going to show them how gorgeous this is, and this is where we say raw food is fun. It's pretty. It's happy. What else is raw food? Um, vibrant. Vibrant. Um, exciting. Yes, and if you are what you eat, then all those words are really good, right? Yeah. We want to be vibrant, we don't want to be dull. We want to be exciting, we don't want to be boring. We want to be colorful instead of bland. Yes. And we are, after we eat this way, we're like, we're so lucky. So, now we have a lot of vegetables and not a lot of dressing, so it might be enough with the Food. Let's see, but we can always, what you can do after you, let's say that you do your bottom of the bowl dressing and you find out you don't have enough dressing, it's very easy to remedy. The only thing that's difficult to remedy is salt, because if I put salt in here, it might get stuck in certain areas. The salt needs to be blended in with the liquid in the dressing. But if you had to, you could salt it. If you wanted to mix some salt and some olive oil and some orange juice on the side and pour some more on. Sometimes I'll just drizzle some olive oil on top and mix it up again to disperse. This is absolutely so beautiful. It's, are we filming? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> um, so now we want to make sure that we make the dressing potent enough because when we're done putting all these hydrating vegetables, we want to make sure that it can taste. So Gage is going to come test. Test it before I add the cabbage, I think, yeah? Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. There you go. You take the spoon. And then I top it with the Brazil nuts. Do you feel like it needs anything? No? You need to have more salt. Okay, so I'm just going to add the salt and mix it up. Just sprinkle it around. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Right? Mm -hmm. Do you want to add this? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, and do you want to cut the tomatoes in half and put them, or do you want to put them in whole like that? Mm, I think half. I'm a half. I like to half cherry tomatoes because I don't like biting into them and having them squish. <laughs> Just, I like them cut. It's one more loving step in food prep. I like that. One more loving step in food mm. prep. Love is cutting your cherry tomatoes in half. Love is tonics, hot tonics. Oh, this is beautiful. All right. We'll top the food with, I don't like mixing the tomatoes in because they're so delicate that if you mix them in, they're going to get smushy and the seeds go everywhere. So what I normally do is I plate this, then I put the Brazil Parmesan on top and then tomatoes. And then if we had saved some cilantro, you could garnish it. All right, let's see. Mmm. Mm, good. Third bowl. Third bowl? Kirby. That one's good. I'm gonna get a little one. And my favorite tongs. I got rid of 
Yeah. I got rid of the big ones and they really annoyed me in my drawer. These little ones will do the trick for salads. Only big tongs. Do you agree? Mm hmm. Big ones got in my way. Especially for serving. Yeah, right? For serving small amounts, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Who wants to come over? <laughs> With like hundreds of people outside the door. <laughs> I'll be like, here's your piece. <laughs> I didn't make enough. Gage and I have made a lot of food, right? Mm hmm. Oh my gosh. Thanksgiving was the funnest. Thanksgiving was, wasn't it? Yeah. Thanksgiving me. Thanksgiving was. Tell me about th how you feel about that. What we did. Uh, Thanksgiving. That was pretty crazy, but in the end, it was really worth it. Just to have all that food there. That gorgeous food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna call Herbie. He's gonna be so happy. I'm happy. I'm so happy. Just look at this. It's so, like, wow. <laughs> and fast. You know, you'll be faster at home because we're like talking and making a video and trying to make things look right. You can certainly do this faster at home. You think? I think so. Yeah. Well, even if it takes you a couple extra minutes because you're not used to it, the more. That's why I say to people if you want to go raw, um, Learn one thing that you love, like make this same salad every day until it's like second nature. Then learn another thing and that becomes second nature. So it's really, to me, so important to learn how to feed yourself day in and day out instead of going doing a cleanse and now what do I do? Or going off to a retreat center and now what do I do? Learn how to feed yourself. You know? It's a lot of food. And what was that? Like a quarter of a cabbage and two large zucchinis. Yeah, and we have plenty. It's plenty for three yeah. people, right? Yeah. I always like to leave extra in the bowl because when they're done, I put some more in their plate. So, it's fun. Herbie never says no. Gage never says no. Right? Never. Okay, I'm going to take pictures for you guys so you can see what it looks like up close. Um, Brazil nuts are really wonderful. They're the only source of selenium when you eat a vegan diet. So it's good to eat one or two Brazil nuts a day. And I'm really just proud of us. <laughs> I'm proud of you guys too for tuning in and being awake and aware. So I think that's it. Is there anything else we want to say? We want to say bon appetit, get your greens on, and I will see you, hold on, I want to show them, I will see you guys really, really soon, and stay tuned for our exciting adventures here. <laughs>